It's all right. Don't worry about it. Resume. This is Joe with the J2 Review, and uh, just doing a review on this weed control from Bio Advanced. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here, spoiler, I've already used it, but I just wanna mention how thorough it is. When you run out, it goes empty, so you really need to pay attention. I mean, I'm gonna show you right now, there is nothing left here. Apologize. I'm gonna to try to talk louder. Uh, I'm out here spreading this uh, Bio Advanced season long weed control for lawns. It kills the weeds, not the grass. Um, it's supposed to be really good. My father recommended it to me. When you first start using this, it looks like it's not going down and it'll make you question whether or not it's working right. But as you can see, I've gotten down, I've been using it now for about, uh, between five and ten minutes let's just be fair and all you have to do because I didn't see a video explaining this all you have to do is pull the tab out it's it's in the instructions so of course if you read you're gonna see that pull this tab out put this on here make sure that rubber gasket is in there attach your hose to it tighten it up get it all ready to go then go and turn on your water okay so um, just want you to keep that in mind and I will let you know what this thing looks like and oh you also want to shake it up really well and then you just push this button here so I'll go on and demonstrate and because I'm gonna soak my lawn and as you can see I have a ton of weeds here so if this thing if this stuff works I will highly endorse it and I will do a follow-up video to let you know. Um, today's date is April 26, 2020. So we'll see what happens. When we first got out here, the yard really looked bad. And you know, the actual grass is starting to grow in um, now that the pollen has taken its course. And I decided now would be a good time to put it in, even though I've, I have been told by some experts that I've waited too long, but hey, you know, it's better late than never, right? So we'll just see what happens here. And, and I understand that some experts would also argue with that statement. Um, but let's just see what happens here. Everything is kind of wacky with the weather anyway. And, um, yep, because it's not that hot of a day. I'm going to soak this stuff out, see if I can get rid of it. And we'll let you see what, what it looks like after it's done. So this section of the yard, as you can see, is in a lot worse shape than the other side. It's been completely taken over by weeds, dandelions, whatever you want to call them. And it also bleeds into the next door neighbor's lawn. Now their grass is in a lot better shape than mine here, because like I said, I can't even call this grass. So I'm focused more on the other side, but we're going to see how things turn out here. And here's a little bit more of the same, uh, just soaking this ground for all that it's worth. common sense thing but you'll know when this thing's about to give up on you it'll start sputtering you can see it's pretty low you want to keep an eye on it because you don't want to just start watering the lawn you want that poison to really soak in so with all that being said I'm gonna go on and and shut it off now keep that in mind because you don't want to start watering the lawn you don't want to you don't want to dilute the weed killer that's what I mean so keep that in mind and we'll see what happens we'll look after about a week or two and see how well this stuff is working. Okay, well so much for waiting a week or two. Here we are just four days later. And as you can see, 
there are no dandelions popping up here and there definitely would have been a lot of them popping up by now so it appears to be working well here we are seven days after the previous cut or seven days since the previous cut and um it looks like over here it's a little bit worse you see those dandelions there those shouldn't be there so which proves that I did not soak this side good enough so I will lay another application overall I think it's working here we are on May the 3rd 2020 here's what the lawn is looking like I was hoping that I wouldn't see these guys at all but as you can see did work and you're really going to be impressed with what you see over here this is much much better uh, I did not go back here and as you can see this is all this is weeds pretty bad they've taken over but I'm gonna go back here with that stuff now now that I know it's working I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna get all this stuff okay today is May 4th 2020 and here's a look at the yard out of it here Check the progress. And what's really interesting, if you look here, you can see that where I sprayed that weed killer, it's discolored. So it definitely worked. And I think just adding it one more time will really, in this spot here, I didn't even reach over here. And that's why it looks like nothing happened. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up another bottle of it, lay another application, hit it real hard up here, and then come back with some seed and see what that does. Okay, here's, uh, we're at the, this is the, this is 22 days since applying the uh, weed killer. Now, a lot of them look like this, but then there are some that look like this, then like this, and then like this, where it's almost completely gone. It's working its way down into the roots, which is great. I did apply grass seed just as it started to rain yesterday evening. So this is the side with all the challenges. Um, I focused more on this side as I was spreading the seed. Here we are on Memorial Day. It is about to storm. Just wanted to get a little bit more footage of the lawn. Definitely planning to cut it tomorrow. I was gonna cut it today, but it poured down rain. This area just doesn't seem to be sprouting. Now the weeds definitely are gone or they're dying off, but the seed I laid down doesn't seem to be taken. Okay, so here is the seed that I am using. It's uh, Scott's Turf Builder Grass Seed, Bermuda Grass. There's another one they have at Walmart and it's a little over six bucks for a bag the same size. I'm trying to remember the name of the, the brand name, but either way, this one's good enough. I think this one was a little bit over $8. Hey, and here we are five weeks after applying the weed killer. I just want to sincerely thank all of you for watching this video and please subscribe and check back here to see my follow-up video on the weed killer and the Ego electric mower. 
looks good.